Here is a delicious treat you can make for family or bring it to a party or a holiday celebration. Christmas coming up, maybe? These are sunflower seed bars that are rich, creamy, and chocolatey. It's easy to make, it's a crowd pleaser, and it's relatively healthy. Keep in mind, it is dessert. These bars are gluten-free and I've kept it as low in sugar as possible without sacrificing flavor. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. So here's chef joke number one. So last week, I got bit by a rattlesnake. Now fortunately, my uncle's wife, well she came over and she showered me with just, you know, money and, and cookies and gifts. And I was glad for the antidote. So our bars here are in three layers. We have our cookie layer, and that's what we're gonna start with. So for that, we're gonna need some Siete cookie crumbs. And for that, you're gonna to wanna to pick up the Mexican shortbread version, because they have several different flavors. And this one has a nice cinnamony flavor to it. So we're gonna place one package of these cookies into a food processor. And then we're gonna grind these up into small pieces. And you wanna break these down so there's no big pieces. The best thing to do is to turn off the processor and then just take your hand and feel for any lumps. And if you have some more, then just smash them just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. I'm gonna pour the crumbs right into a baking dish that's about a eight by six approximately. And then we're gonna add some Kerrygold butter to our mix. And we're gonna melt that in the microwave. Once that butter is melted, give it a little stir and then add it to the cookie crumbs. Remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Check it out. So you're just going to stir that butter in so that the crumbs end up looking like wet sand. Then you're going to use your hands to press the crumbs down into the bottom of the dish so that it's nice and even and firm. And then we're going to place this into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 10 minutes. Once that is done, go ahead and pull it out. We're gonna let it cool for, you know, 10, 15 minutes at least, and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator to cool completely. Now let's begin our middle layer with some sunflower seed butter. Now, if you haven't seen this before, it's actually roasted sunflower seeds with a little bit of added sugar and salt. So I'm gonna take a cup of this sunflower butter and place it into a saucepan. And to that, we're gonna add one more ingredient, some cacao butter wafers. Now these have absolutely no flavor, but what they're gonna do is they're gonna help with the texture. So they're gonna make this nice and creamy, and they're also gonna make it, when it's refrigerated, to firm up. Now we're gonna wanna use about a quarter cup of these, but it's more precise when you use a scale, so you're gonna want about 30 grams. And we'll add this to the sunflower butter. All we do now is place this on the stove over low heat. Once the wafers are completely melted and mixed into the sun butter, then we're gonna pour it on top of our cookie crust. Pour this evenly as you can over the top of the crust and just, you know, try and cover it. And because it's so liquidy, it will even itself out almost automatically. Now this is gonna go back in the fridge now this time it's gonna take a bit longer for this to firm up. So you're gonna to have to have it in there for at least four to five hours and preferably overnight. Okay, so while our bars are chilling in the refrigerator, it must be time for chef joke number two. What do you call an island entirely populated by cupcakes? Deserted. <laughs> if you have a silly joke that you wanna share with me, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And I might even share it in my next video. Once our first two layers are firmed up in the refrigerator, either by four hours or overnight, we're ready to add our chocolate layer. So I'm using Goutard Semi-Sweet Chocolate Baking Bars. So all we have to do here is break the bar into smaller pieces and place them into a saucepan. Now I'm gonna add some Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter, which is from grass-fed cows. We're gonna start with a tablespoon and then we're gonna add more until we get the consistency of the chocolate that we want. It needs to be pourable. So I'll take this over to the stove and place it over low heat. You wanna watch this close and stir it constantly. And once that first tablespoon of butter gets mixed in, then you're gonna to wanna to add probably some more, depending on how thick it is. 
This is still a bit thick for me, so we're going to add a, some more butter. Mix that in and stir it in so that you can tell if you need to add more, go ahead. Otherwise, you want it nice and pourable like this. If at any point you notice your chocolate is starting to boil, we don't want that. So either turn off the heat or lift the pan off the hot burner. Burnt chocolate just doesn't taste good, so keep an eye on it and get this kind of consistency. Drizzle that beautiful chocolate right over the top and then spread it out with a spatula. Spread out the chocolate nice and even, and then this is going back in the refrigerator for probably at least another hour. Now you'll notice the chocolate has a nice matte finish once it's chilled. Now it's ready to be cut. So when you go to serve this, make sure that you run your knife along the edge of the chocolate layer to release it. Now getting that first piece out is always a challenge and it even stuck a little bit, but stay with it, you'll get it, and it comes out nice and easy. Look at those beautiful layers. This thing is rich and delicious. That cookie crust has a nice cinnamon flavor and of course that center layer is silky smooth and creamy and of course the last layer is chocolate which we all love you guys are going to love this if you like chocolate desserts you're going to want to try my homemade chocolate pudding it is creamy and delicious click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe and you can try that one as well and it's way better than anything you can buy at the store. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you're gonna try the recipe down in the comments and let me know how it turned out. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.